all right thank you very much for clicking on the video this is gold Payne, back with another games with dog or games with dogs or game with dog i'm not really sure and uh this one is well yeah, i'm sure because i made up the <laughs> i made up the show so i should be sure uh this one is called um secret of evermore and this is a super nintendo game and actually when i was thinking about the games with dogs I actually forgot about this one because this is a, such a fantastic game um a few years ago when i well a good few years ago now when i sort of learned how to emulate games first um i i played a load of um super nintendo games and i never had a super nintendo when i was a, a small child and uh so yeah it was really nice to go back and sort of play the games that i kind of missed out um when i was younger like earthbound um you know secret of mana um soul blazer terra enigma those sort of games and this one was one of the ones i really enjoyed uh this one you have you take control of um well the main character that you name and then you've got your little um dog with you uh buddy uh but you can basically like i don't know you call the dog whenever you want but the the really cool thing about this is the dog changes into different sort of different forms uh depending on like the worlds that you're in uh the basic story of this is that uh it's in the, i think it's in the 1960s and there's an experiment and then it flashes forward then to like present day you know present day 1994 or whatever <laughs> present day 1993 um and then you kind of look like marty mcfly a bit with the you know the red um the red gilet or the red uh waistcoat thing um but yeah it flashes forward to the, to the present time and then basically like the um the places that you go are um the professor that makes the machine it's a bit of a complicated convoluted story but the professor makes the machine like his friends or something or like the the um the boss characters or the the rulers of each area not the boss characters the rulers of each area um so you basically have to kind of just kind of fight your way through and uh, complete the story uh, it's very entertaining actually it's extremely good um these stories are quite weird uh of sort, sort of secret of mana earthbound they're in that sort of like super nintendo rpg kind of style like it's very difficult to explain like chrono trigger um exactly what's happening but um you know it'd take a while i don't i've only got four minutes here so <laughs> i'll breeze through it but this one uh it's actually going up in price as well uh secret of evermore so i don't know i'll have to i'll have to pick up the um the box for it eventually um but for the moment i can just play it on emulator anyway and i have the super nintendo classic mini as well which doesn't have this but it has a uh, secret mana and earthbound so until i eventually hopefully get those games but um yeah just fantastic um uh, fantastic game uh, if you get a chance to play it totally do it's really it's basically like a um secret of mana not a clone but like a secret of mana i don't know maybe the, the same people is it i think it's quintet um who did this game i think there's like terra enigma uh soul blazer and illusion of Ga illusion of gaia are sort of like the quintet games and then there's this one and there's sort of chrono trigger as well capcom which are all sort of like well chrono trigger is different because it's a turn-based one but uh this these ones are sort of action rpgs but they're all very similar in sort of you know aesthetics and style and they have this like kind of something that makes them different or unique sort of in other games well all games are unique because they're the same thing but um they kind of have that specific style so this one has sort of visiting the different kind of time periods and then the dot you know your companion dog sort of changing into different kind of forms as well um whereas like you know secret of secret of mana um has like the the different sort of aesthetic um or the, the kind of you know di uh, different um, characters and stuff as well like the the you can play as a few different characters or play together uh co-op um again like chrono trigger has like the going back and forward in time and stuff so there's a cool kind of different aesthetic i haven't explained that very well at all but there's like a, di a different thing uh like act razor has you playing as a god but also playing as the um the platform levels like the the simulation platform levels and uh, soul blazer has you going into dungeons but also making a town so it's that sort of like kind of little bit different than your kind of average um kind of game that kind of sets sets a lot of super nintendo games um apart so there you can name your dog i just named the dog uh on this playthrough here i just recorded the start of it i named the dog max because that's the name of my turtle my pet uh, mississippi map turtle so that is a uh, secret of mana or sorry secret of evermore uh, virtually the same name so if you played secret of evermore let me know in the comment section below or if you uh, like games with dogs let me know that as well and thanks for listening i'll see you in the next video adios